Hi, boys and girls. Um, like my T-shirt? Well, today is a day, it's called Off and Sunday. <clears throat> Let me explain. There are many boys and girls who don't have moms or dads, or both mom and dad. So they are called orphans. Now, a day like today, boys and girls, is we get to remember, we get to be reminded that there's something we all can do. Uncle, I'm just young, I'm eight years old, I'm 13 years old, what do you think I can do? You mean I can be somebody's mom or somebody's dad? No, I'm not saying that. <clears throat> I am saying we can make it something we talk about at our own home. How? Um, mom, I know somebody at school. I know somebody at some place who has no mom or dad or both mom and dad. Can we not take them into a house and they can belong to this family? Or mom or dad, I hear that there is a place called social welfare. They get all these babies that have no place to go. While the authorities are looking for a place to take this baby, can they not come and stay at our house? During that time, they are looking for a place for that child to go. So there are children in hospitals who are not sick. They are there because mom, they don't have a mom or a dad. They're just looking for a family. So mom or dad, can we not just bring them into a house while we are, while the authorities are looking for whatever place uh, can be permanent? Never know. They can end up being permanent with us. So there are many other things you can do. You can talk to mom and dad and say, mom and dad, can we not look for a family? that is struggling, a family where there's no mom or dad, and we can find something, do something to support that family. How? Maybe we take um, some groceries uh, once a month, or we say we're going to help with sending so-and-so to school. So there are many things you can do. My son, who is, of course, is old, um, I know that he does things for families where there are orphans or where and says, I can help with school fees, I can do this. So all of us can do something. So boys and girls, as this day, this particular Sunday, there is something you can do. At school, you can encourage others. You know that in our school there is a boy or a girl who doesn't have a family. You, or a family in the sense that mom and dad are not there. Maybe it's grandma who's looking after them. This Christmas, you are invited to come at our house. We can spend a few days playing with us. So there are many things, boys and girls, we can do. Uh, so I want to, don't just do it on often Sunday, like this particular Sunday. There are many days where you can do this. So look for those opportunities, look for those days where you can do something like that, okay? Where throughout the year, you are remembering that there are children who don't have moms and dads, and there is something we can do. The Bible is very clear that God is the father of the fatherless, and that good Christians, a good religion, is making sure that we all take care of children who have no moms and dads. So I'm going to quickly just go through our lesson today, which is in Ezra chapter 4. Ezra chapter 4, remember last week, um, the children of Israel come back, they laid the foundation, they put up the altar. Um, if you read through Ezra chapter 4, problems started coming. Opposition to what they were doing started coming. Boys and girls, 
being a Christian does not mean everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be all right. No, 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 no. You are going to have people who are going to oppose you. You are going to have people who are going to bully you. You are going to have people who are not going to say nice things about what you believe. Well, you're the only one. Well, yeah, look at that boy. Look at that girl. She thinks she's the holy one. All of us are doing it. No. Because you have believed in Jesus Christ, because you know, boys and girls, there is going to be challenges. There is going to be pressure. If you read in this chapter of Ezra, what ended up happening is opposition came. People came nicely saying, ah, we want to help. How can we help? And they started realizing that they couldn't be part of that, so they wrote letters to the king of Persia and say, these guys who end up not paying taxes, they'll become bad. They have a history of being bad people. Boys and girls, opposition will come. There are those who don't like what you're doing. There are those who don't like you walking with Jesus. And they'll do everything to bring you down. In John chapter 10, verse 10, the Bible says the enemy comes to kill, to steal, and destroy. You think people will be happy to see you walking upright, loving Jesus, not doing bad things? No. The devil does not like that. He wants to destroy. Okay? He, he wanted these guys not to put up the, the temple. So I want to encourage you that if you read in chapter 6 of Ezra, what ended up happening is God came through. Remember to pray, boys and girls. Remember to ask God for help in whatever situation, in whatever challenges you may be going through. The Lord will come through for you. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, in this special day as we remember boys and girls who don't have moms or dads, we want to thank you that, Lord, you always come through for us, whatever challenges. Whatever the enemy tries to do, thank you that, Lord, you come through for us. So I want to pray for boys and girls who are listening to me right now. Father, thank you that they have chosen to walk with you. But we know there are those who want to pull them down. There are those who don't want them to love you. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, Lord, you protect them, be with them, help them. When they call to you, thank you for hearing their prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.